I'm Lynn Lily from Craft Box Girls. Welcome to Home Talk TV. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a giant unicorn. Perfect for parties, even to put in a kid's room. It's just all around fun. I wanna have these all over my house. All right, so to get started, I started to prep a few steps. So you're gonna need a couple different basic materials. We've got felt here, so I actually drew and cut out the shape of my unicorn out of a large piece of felt. So I've got a link to where you can get larger packs of felt so you can cut out big continuous pieces right above me in the um, link, the materials list above. And if you're just tuning in, I wanna know where you're watching from. So tell me in the comments where you guys are watching from and I'll be watching with you if you're watching the premiere on Home Talk TV. So feel free to ask me any questions and I can definitely answer them in real time. Okay, so I also cut out batting. So if you're not familiar with batting, this is what goes like in the quilts. If you're a quilter, you're familiar with it. It's similar to what would be like a polyfill, except it is in a sheet. So I cut two pieces of this as well as two pieces of my felt. So you can see I've got two other pieces back here. You can freehand your unicorn. Mine's nothing fancy. I literally just kind of sketched it out on a piece of paper and then drew it bigger. So what I'm gonna do to get started is take what is a yardstick. So some of you may have some of these left over in the garage. You can purchase them for fairly inexpensively online or in a hardware store. I've got a link to where you can get some above. And this is gonna be what helps our unicorn stand up straight. So I wanna position this guy where I want it. And I'm going to need to make sure that it sticks out just a smidge right here at the end, because that way we're gonna attach that to a board. You also wanna make sure that it's straight because you want your unicorn to be straight. Rosanna's behind the camera. Tell her hello, but Rosanna, do I look straight from that side? Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's pretty straight. Okay, so now I've got two glue guns here. Both are from Sherbonder. I've got links to both of them above. This guy houses my industrial glue, which I'm going to use when I put my wood peg in. And then I've got my Lynn Lily glue gun. Again, you can get the link to purchase above. Um, or if you wanna find out more info, I'm gonna use this glue gun and I'm gonna actually glue around the edges to secure my batting to my felt. So I'm gonna go all the way around the entire unicorn. And then I'm also going to take my industrial glue gun, which has industrial glue in it. So this is extra strength. And I'm gonna use that. And you can see this is a larger glue gun. So you get a heavier flow of glue. And I'm gonna use that to secure my wood board to my batting, which is going to be on the inside of my unicorn. All right, so I'm gonna get this completely glued and not knock any more things off the table. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, so we did some gluing. Um, what we did was we glued the top second layer of batting on as well. So you can see there's almost a sandwich now between the batting and the wood piece. So we glued it layer by layer. Now before we put the top layer on. If you're just tuning in, I'd love to know who's watching. So tell me in the comments where you're watching from. And I got a question for you. Where would you put this? Or think about another animal that you guys could make that's oversized. I'm doing a unicorn because I love unicorns and so does my daughter. But maybe you could do a flamingo or an elephant. Really the possibilities are endless. You just got to sketch it out kind of big and you can make it character like so you don't have to get all detailed with it. All right, so got this part. Now there's other key components. So what I have here is a, this is like glitter leather is what they called it. I've got a link to where you can purchase it in the material list above. So what I did was I cut a triangle out and I started gluing this together and I put a small piece of batting in between the two pieces so that it will stabilize it and give it a little bit of sturdiness so that it will stand up. So I'm gonna use my glue gun. I'm just gonna add some glue right there in that sandwich. And I'm just gonna sandwich that together. Because I've gotta glue this piece in between the two layers, I've gotta get kind of all these little extra pieces done. The other piece is the ears. So what I did was I cut two pieces of felt shaped like an ear, because these are gonna be kind of right here, and two pieces, and then I cut a smaller pink piece that's gonna be the little fur inside the ear. All right, so I'm gonna glue these pieces together. So again, we're gonna kind of sandwich it. So put that piece down. And because the batting is kind of thin, that hot glue may seep through, but if not, just make sure that your sandwich is all glued together. Now, I know you guys are home talkers, right? So have you found any great projects lately on Home Talk? I would love to know. Tell me what you're making. 
Um, I love Home Talk because it is, as you know, the world's largest DIY community for home and garden. So you get projects from you and me. That's the fun part about it. We get to inspire each other. So if you've seen any great projects lately, I would love to know. And if you haven't yet, please follow my Home Talk TV page. I've got some really awesome projects planned for you over the next couple weeks and some great video premieres. So make sure you're following me so you get those notifications. Okay, so I've got my ear done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and position where I wanna put my ear and then also where I want my horn to go. So my horn's gonna kinda go there. Rosanna has your view. How does that look, Rosanna? And scooch the ear in just a smidge. Scooch the ear in a little bit. And then I've got what is going to be the main is I took three pieces of um, craft foam and just cut out some half circles. That's gonna be my main. Now, here's the thing. If you wanna double side it, so if you want your unicorn to be visible on double sides, you've gotta double these as well. These are adhesive back, but I'm gonna use glue because the adhesive really won't work. So I need to kinda of position these where I want them to be in my main. So I'm gonna put my yellow in the center and then I want my blue to kind of be under my horn. So remember, you're gonna to have to get these on the lip inside there. So we're gonna put that there. And now once I kind of have everything where I want it, I'm gonna start gluing it. So I'm gonna use my glue gun. I'm gonna add some glue to the edge there. And then I'm also gonna put some on the back just to double kind of make sure that my ear gets attached. We'll be adding some glue again on the top when we put the top layer on. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this, my, my unicorn's rainbow mane as I'm going to call it. Make sure that it all kind of fits the way I want it to overlap. You can customize this project, guys. So you can pick out the colors that you like. I'm just using some of my favorite colors, but it's up to you. Instead of doing a sparkly horn, you could just do a regular gold horn or even a pink horn. It's up to you. The possibilities are endless. I'm just here to inspire you guys to create something fun. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna put my horn in here. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze my horn, make sure that it's inside that lip there. Make sure everything is glued just right. Okay, got these guys all in. The next part that we need to make sure that we get in before we go to the next layer is the tail. So again, if you want it to be double-sided, you're gonna have to double all of these pieces. I'm just making mine one-sided because it's gonna probably stand up against a wall in my daughter's room. So glue three pieces together if you want a dynamic sparkly tail. I used felt, sparkle um, foam, and regular craft foam because I wanted to mix those textures together. Um, I wanna know what colors would you make your unicorn? Tell me, do your kids got a favorite color if they like unicorn? Let me know. I like to hear what your styles are like. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this inside. I wanna make sure that my edge is um, on the inside so when I make my sandwich. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glue to the back of this. Again, remember, if you want it to be double-sided, you'll have to cut double these pieces to make the sandwich. And you wanna make sure that my corner isn't hanging out. And we're gonna put this right here. Okay, so now our next step is going to be to take our top piece. So we've got our top cut out of our unicorn, which mirrors our bottom piece, and we're gonna make our sandwich. And so you wanna make sure that you really get nice and lined up um, so that your foam isn't hanging out. If you need to trim your foam at all, you can most definitely do that. We do need to make sure that just a small piece of this wood is hanging out because we're gonna need to attach this to our base so that our unicorn stands up. So make sure it's all lined up. Nothing's sticking out. Remember, trim if you need to. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue gun and I am gonna close off my sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue all the way around and making sure that I'm kind of pinching this as I go to get a nice tight seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around and I'll be back when it's done. All right guys, check it out. So we've got our sandwich completely glued. Isn't it looking super cute so far? All right, if you guys like it, tell me in the comments. I wanna know. All right, so I have to give a shout out to my friends at Fabric Editions is where I got the idea to do this. They actually make kits to make tiny ones of these. Um, and they had a large one that they had sewn for an event I was recently at. And I was like, I'm gonna make something like that, my own version with no sew. So shout out to them. Thanks for the inspiration, guys. Okay, so here's the deal. We've got all these little pieces to go ahead and finish off our unicorn. We're gonna start at the head. So I went ahead and made some felt flowers, um, which is pretty easy. These are just the spiral flowers that you cut the spiral and wheel them in. And I'm gonna glue these over my horn. So I'm gonna add some hot glue. 
that's gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna do two smaller ones on either side. This is completely optional, guys. I like to add a little more fluff. You don't have to put flowers there. You can put something else there as well. Maybe you do feathers or something sparkly or you do some faux flowers, totally up to you. Okay, because I am extra special, my unicorns have eyelashes. So I've got some eyelashes that I cut out of sparkly foam. And as a reminder, you guys can get a list of all the shopable materials that I used above me, right in the description, there is a link there. So I'm gonna place these kind of where I want them. Um, so I'm gonna put my little horn, or my horn, that's my little nostril, nostril. yes, the nostril. So my nostril's gonna go, which, you think that way? Yeah. yeah, that looks that way, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these pieces first. Now, this is adhesive back foam. So what I'm gonna do, because the adhesive would probably not stick for a very long time and withstand my two and a half year old, um, I am going to remove the backing. And this is what I had, so you can get sparkly non-adhesive foam, but you can also just pop some glue on the back of it and that kind of takes the place of the adhesive that you would normally be using. So be sure to not burn your fingers. I just freehanded this eyelash. You could do, tell me where you think, good, right there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you could do a regular eyeball if you want to. Don't have to do eyelashes. Okay, what do you guys think? All right, if you're tuning in late, I am making a giant unicorn. Um, if you got some questions, you maybe missed a few parts, feel free to pop those questions in the comments. Um, I'm happy to answer them. If you're watching the premiere, I am with you, watching it live. All right, I'm gluing my nostril on right there. And then I've got what it, I'm gonna call this the mouth because I felt like my unicorn needed a little bit of a smile. So I'm giving my unicorn a pink smiley mouth right here. And then, you know, my unicorn's got eyelashes. She needs some fun pink toenails. So I am gonna add her little pink toenails. And what I'm using here is faux leather. So this is just kind of faux. I think this one's a little longer. I think I cut that one to go there. I'm using faux leather that I'm going to just glue right on the bottom there. You can use felt, whatever you want. I wanted to mix some textures with this. Um, so it's up to you guys. You could stick with all felt or you can mix and match the textures like I am doing here. So let's go ahead and glue our toenails right there. Okay. And then we're going to glue this one last one real quick. And then it's going to be time to add our unicorn to the stand. Okay. So just like that. I'm also using hot glue. You can use a regular industrial glue as well. You'll just have a little bit longer of a dry time. Okay. Put this guy on. All right. So now next up, how are we going to make it stand? Got one of these plaques. This is very inexpensive wood. I've got a link to where you can get them above. You get them at the craft store. Um, I think this piece of wood was like a couple bucks. Um, so this is gonna be our stand. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and figure out exactly where you want your unicorn to be. So I think, yeah, let's do it that way. So you wanna, I kinda measured out where I wanted him to be on my board. And then I'm gonna be using the industrial glue gun because we're gonna need some industrial glue. You could screw this in if you want, but I'm gonna add some industrial glue, big heaping of it there. And this is going to attach. I'm gonna make sure I kind of get that guy. I'm gonna, so the glue kind of spills out the back. I'm gonna put him on right there. And I'm gonna let this set and dry. And then when I come back, I'm gonna have this unicorn style. All right, guys, how cute does she look? I feel like she needs a name. Can we call her Sparkle? Um, or if you guys have a better name, let me know in the comments. So what I decided to do was cover up the base just because I thought the base was kind of bland and blah. Even just painting it, I didn't think would work. So I had some faux flowers laying around the studio. So I decided to add a flower patch to the bottom because what unicorn does not frolic with the flowers, right? <laughs> All right, do you guys love it? Let me know in the comments. I love your feedback. And if you make it, where would you put it in your room? Um, all right, that's all I've got for you today. Be kind and inspire someone. Have a great day. Bye, guys.